Hey everybody! So we're finally going to be opening January's Loot Crate. This one has the theme called Origins. And uh, I will also have a link in the description below for you to get your own Loot Crate. You can uh, get it in under my name so I get a referral fee. But if not, enjoy watching mine. So let's cut into it here. Got my knife see what they got okay so t-shirt will save for last I always like doing those last I like the insides got old style Superman from the 19 uh, who was that 20s Let's see so our first one is a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles geeky tiki's mini tiki mug the mini tiki mug looks like they got five different mugs Let's see. Let's open this. Oh, okay. It is literally a little tiki mug. Isn't that cute? It's like a shooter, actually. Looks like a shooter. But it's clay. I like it. I like it. This one is Leonardo because he's blue. But it looks like they got all four of the turtles and a uh, shredder. But that's cool. You can get all five shots. <laughs> or little mini tiki mug. Let's see, this is the first Avenger, Captain America, 1940s Captain America Shield. Oh, it's a scaled replica of shield. Oh, that's cool. One six scaled replica. Oh, does it come with a stand or something? Yeah. It comes with a stand. This is a good metal shield. Classic. Golden Age. It's even got the little grips on the back. It's the Golden Age Captain America shield. And I guess this is part of the base. says marvel marvel at the beauty stick this down in here that clips in nice and strong that looks pretty cool and then this i assume so oh snaps right on in there so it just slides slides right on in Look at that. It's a little wobbly, but whatever. If you have it on a table, doesn't matter. That looks cool. I like that. It says Captain America, 1940s Captain America shield. Sweet. I like that. I like that a lot, actually. I like it a lot. It looks pretty cool. It's a nice, uh, good quality stand there. Ooh, this is, uh, I wish this was real. <laughs> you know how much this comic book would be worth? Action Comics number one, 1938. Looks like there's uh, two books. In, oh no, the other one is a backing, maybe. Comes with a certificate of authenticity from DC saying that basically this is a reprint of Action Comics number one, volume one, featuring the first appearance of Superman. Exclusive reprint for Loot Crate. I want to open it. I don't think it would be worth a lot of money. Might as well. 
I've never gotten to read the first one. It's like a crime against humanity for some people to open comic book. <laughs> but there's a certificate of authenticity. I find that funny. A certificate of authenticity of a reprint. <laughs> Go figure. But look at that. Ooh. It even has the ads on the back. Isn't that cool? Oh wow. It is a reprint of the whole comic book. It's even got the inserts. Oh, I'm gonna like this. Look at that artwork. Wow. It's even mmm, it's on newspaper. It even has Sticky Mitt Simpson. <laughs> so it's a bunch of different kinds of comics in here. Here's the Adventures of Marco Polo. Wow. Okay, so Action Comics had a whole bunch of different stuff in it. Superman was just one of the stories. There's a Western in here. Oh, there's a little thing in the back with, like, Fred Astaire. Stardust. It's like Star News. And some baseball things on the other. This is awesome. This is very vintage cool looking. I'm going to like this. I'm going to like this a lot. I'm going to have to get one of my other comic book cases so I can protect it. I've got sleeves and cardboards for my other comics. I'll just use that. And this is a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles pin. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Here we're going to have a show. I'm going to have that stuck in my head all night now. Here's the Loot Crate magazine. Superman Through the Ages. An interview with the writer for Rogue One Star Wars Story. And it looks like, oh, the Loot Crate turns into a cart, uh, comic book holder. That's awesome. I like that, actually. Sometimes the uh, Loot Crate boxes don't turn into anything interesting. Uh, like, nothing useful. But, like, the Thor hammer was cool. And the, uh, the car, that one was cool. So, noise. Very nice. Let's do so. Let's look at the last thing our t shirt. <laughs> the original Mario, 1981. I like that. <laughs> I like that a lot. Look at that. That is awesome. Nice. I'm going to wear this tomorrow when I go and see Split. I'm going to see Split tomorrow, so look for a review on that one. But let's do a little bit of editing, and we'll, uh, we'll set this up. Yeah! was a hard one to put together you had to cut it all out and I don't want to tear the this part so that it doesn't get frayed or anything so I have to use a knife but look at that that's cool cool little uh, holder you can put your put your books in there See? Look at that. Yo-yo. Awesome. Well, 
I gotta say, I like this loot crate. I like this book holder. I might use it for some of the other books as well. I really like the Captain America shield. That's going on the shelf. The little, cute little turtles. Little shot glass turtle. And uh, my the t-shirt with Mario on it. That was awesome too. So all in all, it was a good Loot Crate. I really enjoyed this one. Thank you, Loot Crate. Again, if you're interested in getting Loot Crate, a link to my referral system is in the description below. You can uh, also hit the notification bell to see current videos and videos that are coming up in the future with my reviews of Split will be coming soon. And then next week I'll have reviews of Kabil and uh, Race after I see those next Wednesday on the 1st. Thank you guys for watching. Comment below and let me know your thoughts. Like, share, subscribe. Tell your friends. And I will see you on the next video.